exhort I'd ask of you. A personage of great esteem is to return from Batal to Vermin. I speak of Sir Augustine. He is a noble and the leading voice of opposition against the Queen Regent. Your aid is requested in guarding his ox cart as it travels the high road. As a potential ally to your cause, it would do you no favors if he were to come to harm. I trust he will cooperate. And bear in mind that this is a matter of the utmost secrecy. Not even the captain of the guard has been informed of it. You have your orders. Read them and follow them to the letter. Let us make haste, that no life may be lost on our account. About time you showed up. We've been waiting for you. Our mission is simple. Sir Augustine will board the ox cart, and we must safeguard it from would-be assailants till it reaches its destination. See to it that none approach. The Queen Regent's supporters will come for Sir Augustine's head. Of this, we can be certain. Oh, a quiet day is a welcome one. Come along now. What was that sound? Who's there? Hold a moment. I'll be handling Augustine's escort from here. Foul brigand! We shan't allow Sir Augustine to fall prey to the likes of you! There's no need for theatrics. I know your aim here. Ah, here's a surprise. We met at the tavern, remember? Fair warning, cuz. This craven isn't worthy of your trust. He speaks madness! Subdue him at once! Ere he injures our noble charge! Why isn't Sir Ragnall from the tavern? Now two parties are our aid, but which is the more deserving? You would betray me. <laughs> Have you lost all sense? You believe me, then? That's a bit of a relief, actually. Thanks, cuz. Let my magic strong to an elemental wound. You have my protection. Curse you! All that planning and... For what? Phew! I appreciate the confidence, cuz. It was a welcome surprise. But I can't linger here, I'm afraid. My apologies for this. Follow after me, if you can. Succeed, and I'll share the truth of all of this. I shall stand by you, Master. Whatever you decide. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our fate. We must not let down our guard. A resounding victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. You truly are formidable, Arisen. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose our heads. Master! Master, can you hear me? Are you unharmed? Pray seek an exit. We meet again.
Ahoy there. I take it you lost your footing as well? You seem to have fared better than I did. I took the fall for Augustine, only to find myself waist-deep in monsters. Still, so long as he escaped, I'd wager that makes this a job well done. Speaking of, I was to tell you the truth behind all of this, wasn't I? I'll be glad to oblige you, of course, but we ought to get moving first. What say I explain while we search for an exit? Time to get to work. Not bad. From what I've seen of your skills during that mess in the tavern and today's business, I can say you're really something. And my word ought to carry a fair bit of weight, considering my reputation as a warrior of unparalleled skill. Though of late, I've mostly been playing escort to spineless nobles. Turns out, as a sellsword proves himself, the list of those who can afford his services grows shorter and comes to be written in finer ink makes for a duller life, though I can't say I've any complaints about the weight of my pockets. <laughs> Still, I hunger for a real battlefield where a single misstep spells death. I crave the simplicity of it. There's naught else like it. The clashing of bodies and wills. I'd not say no to a fight with you. Let's have at it when I'm all healed up, eh? <laughs> Mayhap. I'll not give you a choice in the matter. <sighs> I'm not sure what's brought me here. I suppose I'll have a few drinks and hit the hay. That escort mission was a trap concocted entirely for your benefit, you know. It was supposed to give those responsible a means to incriminate you. But Augustine is no fool. He had his doubts about his summons to Vermin and hired me to watch over him in an unofficial capacity. So I looked into the cart that would be escorting him, and lo and behold, I found your name. But wasn't on the list of hired guards, oh no. Rather, your name was on the list of persons to be on guard for. In short, you had been called in to act the part of the culprit. Mark my words, if you'd carried on with them, Augustine would have been slain, and you would have been held responsible. You'd not have stood a chance against all that if it hadn't been for me. Aye, methinks I've earned my pay this time, and then some. I protected my charge and got you away from the scene without your being branded a murderer and thrown in jail. Now all that remains is to escape this place. I expect we'll find a way out soon enough, if we only press on. Still. I've got to wonder where this craven plot came from, and what you did to warrant it. One thing's for certain, you must have powerful enemies in Vermin. But why? Tis not as though you're the Arisen True. What? You are the Arisen. Ha! <laughs> Tis a small world indeed. You've piqued my interest even further, cuz. I've no business here. Best I hit the road. Right, let's press on. Judging from the flow of air here, the exit can't be far. Well, this is 
is a right awful place to be cut short. At least you made it out all right. Don't worry, cuz. I'll be fine on my own. After all, I can't afford to die here. We haven't had ourselves a real bout yet. We'll see each other again. You can count on that. And when we do, you'd best be ready for the fight of your life.